Open the Office 365 disk image with WinRAR or with another file compression program like WinZip. Extract the contents to a folder. The files have been extracted. Let's create a custom configuration file in the Office website. Choose 64-bit if your Windows is 64-bit. Match the Office Suite version to your installer. Selecting none here is not necessary. Let's skip update channel settings. Here we can select which Office app to install. I'm going to need Outlook and PowerPoint for now. Selecting a language is required. Our installer is a local source. A backslash is enough since our configuration file will be saved in the same folder as the installer. Let's disable updates to avoid a long installation. If you want to keep previous versions of Office, turn this off. These are just optional details. These are detailed configurations for each Office app. Let's not bother with these. They can be configured in app later. We're done. Click Export button on top to save the configuration. Select XML as the configuration format. By default, the file name is configuration. If you need to change your configuration, just go back to the configuration website. And import your configuration file. Then you can make changes to your configuration. Here I added more Office apps to be installed.
Export again and overwrite your previous configuration file. Here we have saved our configuration file in the setup folder that we extracted before. Let's download the deployment tool from the Microsoft website. Open the deployment tool and extract its contents to the setup directory. The deployment tool extracted these highlighted files. To avoid clutter, let's delete these sample configuration files and the deployment tool package. We only need setup.exe from the deployment tool package. You may have noticed that the disk setup file, which we do not need, was overwritten by the deployment tool. Right-click drag setup to create a shortcut file. Let's rename the shortcut to custom setup. Access the shortcut properties. And add our configuration file as a target parameter. This tells Setup to use our custom configuration. Let's run the custom Setup shortcut. Here, the configuration was set to install Outlook and PowerPoint only. If you wish to add or remove Office apps, just import and edit the configuration file and run custom setup again. If you wish to remove the installed shortcuts from the taskbar, you may unpin them. There was an option in the configuration not to include these guys. Let's check to see what's installed. Excel OneDrive Outlook PowerPoint Let's run Word Microsoft Team? I didn't ask for that. We can use Word within the 5 day trial period. Notice that recent files of the previous Word version are listed at the left column. Since we did not log in, Word is not activated.
If you open Outlook, your existing mail files are optimized. And you can still send or receive all your previous folders.